Okay, in this video I want to talk about problems 27 and 28 for a moment. And problem 27 and 28, they're very similar to 25 and 26, but they're also different in a way. We're not asked specific questions like what is the value of the function at x equals 1 or x equals negative 3. We're not asked for specific limits. Rather, we're asked to identify the values of c for which the limit as x approaches c of f of x exists. And the way that we would answer this question is just to write in interval notation the set of all the values for which a limit exists. So with problem number 27, what we're going to look for is the places where a limit won't exist. And again, the places where limits don't exist are going to be where we have different behavior from the left and the right, where we have unbounded behavior or where we have certain kinds of oscillating behavior. So in this case with problem 27 we don't have any oscillating behavior and there's no unbounded behavior. However there is at least one point where we have a differing behavior from the left and the right and at that point the limit will not exist. But the limit's going to exist everywhere else. Even at x equals 2 where there is a hole in the graph and the value of the function is defined somewhere else. We'll call that later a removable discontinuity. But their limit still exists there because the behavior from the left and the right is not different. So what we would do for problem 27 is to simply state in interval notation the range of values for which the limit exists. And We'll write this in interval notation. We'll start with negative infinity because we're not told how far out the graph goes to the left from negative infinity to negative 3 with uh, parentheses and not square brackets there. Parentheses because negative infinity is not included. It's not a real number. We never include uh, infinity in a square bracket. And negative 3 because we can have all the points up to negative 3 from the left but not negative 3 itself. Then we would use the union symbol and after that add all the values from negative 3 to positive infinity. And that's really all we have to say. Those are any values that are in those intervals will have limits existing for them. The only place where the limit will not exist on that graph is at x equals negative 3. And again you can take a look at number 28. We have limits existing from negative infinity all the way up to x equals negative 2, and at, at which point we have unbounded behavior. Then we're going to continue from negative 2 up to 0, where we have differing behavior from the left and the right. So we can't include either negative 2 or 0 in that interval. However, after that point, there is no behavior differing from the left and the right, there's no unbounded behavior, and there's no oscillating behavior. So we'll include everything from zero, not including zero, on to positive infinity. And that's the way you would do these particular problems here. So I hope that uh, makes that clear. It really is a simple problem. You're not asked specific questions about what the limit is at a certain point. Rather, you're asked to specify an interval notation, the range of values for which the limit exists. And the way we go about doing that is to find the places where the limit does not exist and to construct interval notation for the answers from there. So I hope that makes sense. We'll go on to other parts.